Hi everyone. Welcome to this training program on uh, measurement of soil resistivity and earth resistance. I am uh, Jayan Karamchetti, the author for this uh, module. Objectives of this module developed is the author is a qualified and experienced in electrical engineering, power electronics, and energy conservation and auditing, design and implementation of solar photovoltaic power plants. To share his theoretical and practical knowledge with engineering professionals to improve their skills and in turn develop India. Purpose is resistivity is the fundamental property of the material. Soil resistivity. Resistivity across a one cube unit of a soil expressed in ohm meter. Purpose estimating the ground resistance of a proposed substation of a transmission towers and estimating the potential gradients, including the step and touch voltages, computing the inductive coupling between the neighboring power and the communication circuits, and designing cathodic protection systems and geological surveys. Equipment used it is the four terminal earth tester. Type of earth testers we have available in the market is a Megger DET 2x2 UK, Fluke is 1623-625, and Chownak Ornes is available, and KEW Cairo C right shoe 4106 of the band with the current clamps. Now, comparison of analog and digital testers, accuracy. Accuracy with the digital meters, you can notice is a 2% of the reading in the entire range and hence a very accurate and high resolution. Voltage is microprocessor based 30 to 50 volts automatic reading in case of the digital. Frequency is 60 to 90 hertz variable. In auto mode, it selects a test frequency with least amount of a noise high spikes do, do not indicate display the high spike resistance in case of a digital meters open circuit do not indicate in case of analog circuits displays a current circuit open or potential circuit open in case of a digital meter so i suggest that for accuracy you should always wear the digital meters in your professional life Factors affecting the soil resistivity, type of the soil, moisture, dissolved salt in water, temperature, grain size and distribution, seasonal variation, artificial treatment. Effect of earth layers. The measured apparent resistivity depends on the resistivity of the various materials through which the current is passing. It is an average of all these resistivities. As the electrode spacing is increased, Current flows through a greater volume of a material, but both horizontal and vertical as the deeper material will have an effect on the apparent resistivity. Thus, if the deeper material is of a higher resistivity, the overconductance, the current flow lines will be deflected upward and the current density in the near surface of volume elements will be increased. If the deeper material is of a lower resistivity, higher conductivity, the current flow lines will be deflected downwards and the current density will be increased. Methods of measuring soil resistivity equally spaced or Dr. F. Wenner arrangement. I have given four references where you can check up and take the data. Unequally spaced Schulenberger Kolmer arrangement references. And the central electrode method also we have a references on this one with the CBIP manual. Now, when are four electrode method, you can see these circuits. See, middle one, you can notice the earth tester. It has got a C1, C2 on the extreme one and P1, P2 in the middle. C1, C2 will be injecting a current into the soil in a straight line, whereas the P1, P2 will be measuring the voltage voltage divided by the resistance is the current in this case we are using voltage divided by the current current is a constant so the division is a directly giving user giving us the resistance value and the depth of burial of the spikes is uh, less than what a is a is the distance what you are keeping with so rho is equal to 2 pi a r ohm meters 
equally spaced doctor f venner arrangement you can see that the distance between c1 p1 p1 p2 c2 is equal that is a in all the case in this case you can notice that unequally spaced slumberger and former one so because it is an uh, unequally spaced the formula is changing into rho is equal to pi into c in brackets c plus d and multiplied by r and divided by d ohm meter in that but if you make a c is equal to d the formula turns to back of the other one procedure for measuring soil resistivity for measuring soil resistivity at the site of a substation measurements of a resistivity are made along a number of a radials of a different locations in the station area such that the whole area in which the earth electrodes are to be laid is covered there ought to be a minimum of two radials at one location but the more number you take more accurate the results would be procedure of measuring soil this is to spacing between the probes which are hammered into the soil shall be varied from the smallest value of about 0.5 meters or 1 meter to a large value depending on the extent of the at the electrodes and the conditions on the ground typically if the extent of the station is 100 meters by 150 meters in the direction of the radial the readings of the resistivity may be taken for the probe spacing of 1 meter 2 meter 5 meter 10 meter 20 meter and 35 meters depending on the available space the largest spacing may even be increased to 100 meters or more procedure of measuring soil resistivity in case of the resistivity variations is a large at least five progressively increasing the probe spacing or necessary to get a good estimate of the deeper layer of parameters a few spoonful of spoonfuls of water may be poured around the probe which has hammered into the ground to get a good conductivity connection between the probe and the soil around it the soil along the radials shall be free from buried conductive pipes and it shall not be recently filled and therefore not yet compacted in case of the ground conductors have already been installed resistivity measurements except those of the small probes spacing in center of the large meshes shall be affected if the soil is homogeneous measurements may be made outside the grid procedure for measuring the soil resistivity in case the earth at the site of the measurement is a rocky it may not be possible to hammer the probes into the ground attempt is made to hammer a probe into the ground cracks may develop around the point of entry of the probe into the ground this results in high contact resistance in the current and the potential loop shall not shall result in erroneous results a good digital earth tester shall have an indicator of high current loop resistance or high contact resistance at potential probes it cracks a develop around the probe the hole shall be filled with wet mud and the probe shall be stood in the mud in case the probes cannot be hammered into the ground holes shall be drilled into the ground and these may be filled with a mud or a cement or a bentonite slurry into which the probes are erected terminals okay. test wires shall be insulated and shall not have a joints in between these shall be firmly connected to the terminals of the at the resistance meter and the test electrodes as far as possible wires from the potential terminals may not run parallel to uh, and near those from the current terminals procedures for measuring soil resistivity test electrodes shall be clean and free from rust hammering of electrodes shall not result in loosening of the connection between the electrodes and its uh, test leads and thereby an increase of a contact resistance between the test leads and the electrode the local soil conditions such as a surface rock loose soil water logging road sides etc at a measuring point shall be recorded in the measurement book for ease of interpretation of the measured data a resistivity value shall be calculated after each observation in case there is an abrupt variation in measurement of resistivity the measurement of our that probe spacing shall be repeated after altering the probe location 
accuracy of earth resistance meter shall be checked before and after the measurement as per the procedure given under alternate electrode connections electrode arrangement and resistivity formula cppc is a 2 pi a r1 pcc p rho is 6 pi a r2 and pcpc is 3 pi a r3 as long as the electrode spacing is kept constant the row equations is independent of the positions of the electrodes and is not affected when the current and potential electrodes are interchanged you can see the example below and any one of them you can follow and resistivity formula also accordingly changes comparison of wenner and the slumberger methods interpretation of the readings is a more complicated a more sensitive instrument is required for the slumber configuration than the wenner arrangement wenner arrangement is probably more suitable for the non specialist and the occasional user of the resistivity surveys slumber method is a more faster than wenner's method since only two electrode positions have to be changed that is the current and the electrodes case study 1 consider rho is a 2 pi ar ohm meter a is the distance between adjacent electrodes or is the tester reading you can see that number of readings have been taken as a serial number 1 to 7 a is the distance between them is increased from 2 to 8 at a range at a difference of 1 meter and r is the resistance which has been observed p is a calculated one is given here the average of all the readings is 59.579 and that's at 130% of p average 1.3 is 77.453 70% of the average is 41 the minimum and maximum values within 41.705 and 72 77.455 the soil is homogeneous Case studies two site of 120 megawatts a diesel power plant in Alhangti, Bangalore, and Alhangti site is given. You can have a look at it. The information given on the right side as well as on the table is an agricultural land. Condition of the ground is a dry. Earth tester used is 83 by 2. Okay, for the same case study calculations of this is also given. You can notice that in the table. We have a 2.5 meters, 5 meters, 7.5, and 10 meters, 15, and locations A1, A2, locations B1, B2, C1, and C2. They are taken in three different directions to improve the accuracy and get a better average. The average of the above is 37.99, and the conclusion is since the maximum and minimum resistivity is lies within 30 percent of the average of this average value, the soil is homogeneous one. The soil is said to be homogeneous where the average value of rho lies within 30 percent. Comparison between the Wenner and Schlumberger method. Wenner method is a distance between the adjacent electrodes. You can see that on the left side, one to eight, and each test at the tester is a shown readings of collected from them, and soil resistivity calculated is there, and this also tells you. 130 percent, 70 percent of that. The highest value is 106, and which is a lower than 120. Hence, the soil is homogeneous with a soil resistivity of 92.73. Comparison between the Wenner and Schlumberger methods. Schlumberger method distances is out even from 1 to 10 there, and the earth tester readings are copied from that is given here, and. Um, So right side one is the soil resistivity, and the average is a 92.388 ohm meters. In the central electrode method, you can notice that this thing is how it has been provided in this particular one. Central electrode method. In this method, two current electrodes are buried a large distance apart. Two potential electrodes are placed at a distance of a m. At m and b at m meters, and one of the current electrode, as shown in previous slide, the distance c between the current electrode shall be about to 10 times the distance of b. So rho is equal to 2 pi a b by b minus a r. 
into the system. R is a measure of reading in the ohms. In this method, only the current electrode and the two electrodes who were read near it are to be in a straight line. The far current electrode were read at a radius in distance of a C from the first electrode and a nearer and a need not be in a straight line with the other three electrodes. The soil resistivity is obtained to a depth of approximately A plus B divided by 2 from the surface where the first three electrodes are buried. If any observed, if any observed soil resistivity for a probe spacing is found to be too high or too low compared with the resistivity for the next larger probe spacing and that of the radial, it may be judiciously ignored when determining the soil model. Case study one, you can notice that there is a line between the dots, but they are very light lines, so you are not able to see. Carefully observe it. Conducted in nine at all, and considering A is equal to one meter, B is equal to two meters, and C is equal to twenty meters. Measurement of a ground resistance. Purpose: Ground resistance is offered to the nearest earth. Purpose. Verify the adequacy of a new grounding system. Detect changes in an existing grounding system. Determine the hazardous step and touch voltages. Determine the ground potential raise EPR in order to design the protection for power and communication circuits. Performance of an earthing system can be evaluated. Equipment use, three terminals earth tester in case of a fourth, fourth terminal earth tester, C1, P1 is shorted to make it a three terminal earth tester. Factors impact, impacting the grounding system. Water table variation will occur due to the seasonality. Corrosion of the grounding conductors and the materials. Contamination of the soil and the surrounding from spillage such as a chemicals, oils, their resistivity will be very high and mechanical integrity, electrical integrity and improper maintenance of the old systems. Measurement of prerequisites, prerequisites. clean the electrodes thoroughly and check the continuity to the opposite side of the electrode. Measure the voltages between C1, P1 and P2 on or C1, P1 and C2. The voltage should not exceed the limit mentioned in the catalog of the earth tester. The thumb rule is remote electrode shall be 10 times the depth of the burial, shall be 10 times the depth of the burial of the electrode or 10 times the longest distance of the earth mat for any configuration. Precautions to be taken measuring ground resistance. Avoid taking measurement during cloudy, cloudy day. There is a possibility of a lethal potential existing between a station ground and a remote ground. If a system fault involves the station ground occurs while ground resistance is being measured, the use of a rubber gloves is advisable while making connections to the test electrode so as to avoid a shock to the operator. Under no circumstances should the two hands or other parts of the body of the testing personnel should be allowed to complete the circuit between the points of the possible high potential difference. An isolated lightning arrester ground should never be tested with arrested in with arrester in service because the possibility of high potential gradients around the ground connection. Since the resistivity of the upper soil layers is greatly influenced by weather, day test should be chosen, which is free from the extreme weather conditions. Methods of measuring ground resistance Fall of potential method, six references have been given. Stackless method using the current lamps, current clamps, two references have been given. A V curves method, two references have been given. Slope method, two references, and IS3043 alternate method, one reference has given in the IS3043. Fall of potential method, you can see here C1 P1 is a shorted in this particular case. So you have the potential electrode is a fixed at a place. The C2 is the remote electrode. Now for a potential method, you can see in the other one, resistance range, resistance range of electrodes E and C. And you have the P in between, E is the earth Rx. 
and the c is or c and the measurement value of the at the surface you can see that the horizontal surface which is marked here that is almost the average one and a constant value that should be taken if you are close to the if you are close to the left side of the graph you notice you are at a zero potential and if you are far away you are influenced by the second electron for a potential method potential electrodes between the test and the current electrodes of p1 has been shown in this one you can see the graph graph is horizontal up at a particular point the potential electrode in the opposite direction from the current electrode p2 location is shown case of a high impedance ground system common sources of errors in fall of potential method inadequate separation of unknown and auxiliary electrodes operation of the instrumentation at inadequate sensitivity level location of auxiliary current electrodes of the potential probes in the vicinity of buried metallic structures inductive coupling between the voltages and the current leads excessively high current probe resistance which can lead to parasitic capacitances resistances errors and incorrect interpretation of a fall of a potential data and calibration of the instrument as the experience is gained shortcuts of the simplification can be made where it is known that accuracy of the results will not be significantly affected it is a use it is a usually useful to take reading at relatively large potential probes intervals initially and then take a intermediate reading where an apart of a knee, where an apparent knee or a flat spot in the curve has been observed at resistivity curve at resistivity curve you can see the four probes at point 2 ec point 6 point 6 and position of the electrode and the chapter 28 and the next module is the at the casing studies of chapter 29 thank you very much to all of you i wish you all see the all the total programs of 10 chapters and uh, subscribe me thank you very much